Vaccines conceptually are used to protect the body from infection with pathogens, viruses and bacteria. They're given to healthy individuals and they're called prophylactic vaccines. A therapeutic vaccine is a vaccine that tries to achieve the same effect but it's given to a person that's already infected with a pathogen. A therapeutic cancer vaccine goes one step further in the sense that you're treating someone who already has cancer instead of trying to eliminate a virus or bacteria, in this case you're trying to eliminate a tumor cell. A major shortcoming of past therapeutic cancer vaccines has been the poor immunogenicity of tumor associated antigens. And a growing body of data over the past decade or so has demonstrated across multiple independent studies that CMV antigens are frequently expressed by a variety of solid tumors, including glioblastoma multiforme, or GBM, medulloblastoma, the number one pediatric brain tumor, as well as breast cancer. We have been working on a prophylactic vaccine against CMV, and cognizant of this growing body of literature, I decided it was wise to try to use this approach to now go after therapeutic vaccination against those types of uh, cancer. For a successful immunotherapy vaccine against cancer, it's critical to induce a very potent immune response. VBI is addressing that issue in two ways. First, by using an antigen derived from a foreign virus, CMV, which is fundamentally more immunogenic than the vast array of past tumor-associated antigens that have been used. Secondly, we use a very potent means of delivery, envelope virus-like particles, which are the perfect size for uptake by dendritic cells, the most potent way of presenting these antigens to the immune system. Also important, though, is to induce a sustained potent immune response. And to address that issue, we're using an adjuvant, GMCSF, 